Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. We are so happy you found us. And if you've come back for a second, third, or fourth visit, thank you. You are appreciated as well. Today we have something really fun. I am doing a flip through of not one, but two kitten journals. These are some journals I did a while back and I just found them and kind of spruce them up more to my style now than when I made them like I think it was three years ago now and I thought I would just share them with you because they are adorable. It is called Sweet Kittens Journals for the One You Love. So let's just get into these flip throughs. So we'll just flip, I'm gonna flip views on you and go to the overhead view while I do these two flip throughs and then we'll be back to say bye. Let's get into this and thanks. Oh, before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell. Lots of things coming and some big news coming very soon. Okay guys, these are the two kitten journals and like I said, one is purple, one is pink. The purple one is a little thinner than the pink one and the purple has pink trim, pink accents, while the pink one has the gold accents. So let's do the purple one first. And I just love these. These are uh, paper kits from Tsunami Rose. I got these when she was still on Etsy. That tells you how long ago it was. And it's the kitten memoirs the kid is. so. And the journal itself is a white envelope, just like this one. And I folded it in half. Um, I put a page on the front, and I put some purple trim here. And then some lace on the spine. And then page and more purple trim. Okay, when you open it up, I have some trim, I have some washi tape, some lay, um, ribbon here, and then two ephemeras from the kit. And I left it plain besides that because this kit is so adorable. I thought somebody might want to put pictures there or write because there's lots of writing room. This rose paper is from a friend, Deborah Lynch. She used to do this paper and have it in her Etsy shop. And I just think it's so gorgeous. And then this is a tag from the kit. And I fussy cut out this kitten from one of the pages. Just lots of pinks and purples and kittens. Made lots of pockets. Lots of pretty pink trim. Sticker. And then here you have a big journaling card that I turned into a notepad, which is super fun. I fussy cut another cat out of the pages. Just a glassine bag with some more parts of the kit that I didn't use. I figured somebody might want to use as tabs or little, you know, markers or put on photos. This kit is so cute too. This is a stamp I had. Lots of pockets, tuck spots, places to keep, like I said, photos, memories. This is just a big doily. You could stick things in there. Again, a kitten I cut out from the kit. I fussy cut it and put it on a tag. This kit is just super cute. And if you have a kitten cat lover in your life, this is the kit for them. Okay. And then I open the back. So lots of storage for memorabilia, pictures, because I have tons of pictures of my dogs. 
So I figured the cat lover would as well. Okay, that was the little purple one. Now this is the pink one and it's trimmed in gold and there's a little bit more to it. It's a little bulkier. And I used the cover and this one I trimmed out with pink lace. I didn't put anything on the spine this time, but I put pink lace all around. I left this uh, blank again for photos. Then I had some paraphernalia I'd gotten, certificate of awesomeness, cat language, things I had found on Pinterest, and a little bit of lace. And this is just some pink cardstock I had, and I fussy cut out the same kitten for this page as I did on the other one. Then this is some glassine bags I stamped. And then I made this cute tag. And then behind it is another bag and it's got another tag in it. So I layered up my glassine bags, made double pockets, satin pink flower. I used just all the ephemera from the, from the kit. Like I said, same kit, just took it a different direction in this one versus what I did. Same kit, just uh, took it in a little different direction. Fussy cut out a cat again. I thought the gold was really pretty, and we know cats think they're royalty, so I thought the gold was appropriate. Both my kids are a cat persons and my sister, so this would be perfect for any of them to write the tales of their fur babies. This is my cat is bred. I mean, we've all seen cats do that kind of thing. It's hilarious. I included that. And this, there was a fan in the kit. I cut it out and put it on the doily, and it looks like uh, two fans. I thought that was kind of a cool effect. And then the center is some pink felt, so you can pin things to. I always think you need a fabric page, though I don't always put them to pin stuff to. And then here's the other side of the doily, and this time I put a heart on it. And that's just a tuck spot or some of the ephemera. And you could tuck something there. And then this one has a pick journaling card. And then this is a story page that is glued down on one side. It just is kind of a little flip out. You could put something, you know, hide it there if you wanted to. And then fun cat facts, which again, all of that was found on Pinterest. And then some tags. And a big uh, tuck spot pocket. And that's it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the flip through of the sweet kitten journals for the one you love. If you did, be sure and give this video a thumbs up and also lots more great things coming and a big surprise. So be sure and hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you're notified. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.